Hello people, welcome to the full poster bed. Um, I've got a day ahead which involves carting mother off to Aldi. Um, I do, I quite like an Aldi trip now. I've, at one point, because I had to, it was quite regimented, do you know what I mean? When you, when you care for elders, they can, they have a habit of sort of forcing you into a rather regimented box, which I was kicking and screaming against for some time. But now I, I kind of like this midweek, you know, take it easy. I've worked really hard all weekend. Um, it, enjoy the day off, as it were. Um, it, not really. I mean, I've still got bloody loads to do. Don't get me wrong. But um, I yeah, I kind of I've got used to it. I've got used to the midweek regimented army routine schedule of going to Aldi with my mother <laughs> so she can get her high protein yogurt of course um and it also means i can go and, and i realized this week that i normally go on my push bike and when you get a bit older your balance is affected quite a lot and when i'm trying to carry cat litter and four pots you know sort of liters of yogurt and vegetables and all the other stuff in the pannier on the bike, I'm not as steady as I once was. And then I realised that I don't like the cold or the rain anymore. I mean, I'm not sure I ever did, but I've got waterproofs. I just put on a load of waterproofs and get out there. You know, you know, I was a bit like Scott climbing the Antarctic. I'd just be, you know, uh, the elements didn't scare me. And I notice now that that's changing a bit. I'm starting to be a bit more sensitive to it all. You're thinking, oh, I don't really want to go out in that. When you've got a car, you know, but also when you're a bit older, and you feel the cold. I mean, I'm sitting here in the bed. I've got my feet under the duvet because um, I've re I removed my socks, which was a mistake. Because actually, I don't know if you know, but I did read that wearing, having warm feet can stop migraines. And I did have an aura last night after I'd removed my socks. I've just realised that. You might want to think about that. What it does is it draws the blood. When your feet are warm, the blood is drawn down. When they're cold, it's drawn away from your feet. And migraines are, are caused in part by increased blood around your head. So there we go. I'm a mine of information when it comes to my health because I study it. I study, you know, how I'm coping with life and how I'm ageing almost every day of my life. Um, so what have I been up to? Well, I've been weight training every day. I think today's my fifth day. And no mean feat, let me tell you. I'm really pushing the boat out. So I, one day I do legs, but lower body. Next day I do upper body. And yesterday, uh, for the first time, I used my EMS machine. If you want a, a full review of it, it'll be over on Elder Essence uh, later. I'll do it probably tomorrow. But this is just a, I'm not going to ne name drop. I'm just going to tell you generally about it. Now, I had a theory about this, but basically I, my bum, right, it needs uh, upgrading and I'm, I don't want to have surgery. I want to do it, you know, I want to be fit and healthy and I just want it, to, you know, to get off the floor because I've lost so much weight. So I'm doing everything in my power, which includes weight training, serious weight training, glutes, lots of power glutes, and also um, this EMS machine, which tweaks. Now, if you don't know, basically it passes electric shocks into your muscles and they contract. And it's the weirdest bloody thing, honestly. Anyway, I had a go yesterday in several places. So I, I tried my leg to see what happened and you could see I mean it was absolutely fantastic on my thighs absolutely brilliant to watch the way you know they this clenching of the muscle involuntary clenching it was like I was some sort of bionic I was I was run by a machine really interesting electric that's what electricity does and this is you know this is I believe how they're powering um, paraplegics, you know, using this sort of some kind of electronics technology. 
And I was watching my muscles contract and, and it was almost as if I would get up and walk away without my brain telling my body to do that. I mean, obviously it didn't. It was just clenching, but it was clenching so large. Um, so then I tried my arms. I, I'm not happy with my forearms. They're a bit baggy and the, the, there doesn't seem to be a lot of muscle formation there. Um, you know, that because I've lost weight, everything is a bit lacklustre. Um, so I tried it on there and it, it was just, guys, it was crazy. So it sort of spasticated my hands into a position that I've never seen them go in to that position. They were sharply contracted muscles. And especially on my fourth finger, that and now I don't know if that's something to do with carpal tunnel. Um, it was really interesting. And I thought, I wonder if that's going to help me as a musician. Because, you know, it was clenching my, my fourth finger. And as a pianist, your fourth finger is a little bit, your fourth and your uh, fifth finger are quite weak. Much weaker than your forefinger and your middle finger. So I'm going to run a little experiment and I'm going to do these every other day when I do upper body. I'm going to have a little 10 minute session on my forearms and as a byproduct of my hands. And I'm going to see if that helps. And we'll be talking about that over at the Suzuki School because it might be, it, it may seem that it's a little madcap. Uh, a little freakish of me to come up with that. And I wouldn't want to tell anybody, yay, this is a good idea. But I, I think, you know, there's no harm in EMS. You're, you shouldn't put it near your heart. And if you've got a pacemaker, no, it's a bit of a no-go. Um, and you shouldn't use it around your neck. I, I guess anywhere delicate. Um, but certainly, and, and you can put it on low or high. I put it on high for my forearms and it was too, it was too much. I had to reduce it um, because these, the way these hands were doing it, I mean, I'm going to have to video it for, for the podcast. Uh, well, I'll video it actually for the TV show on Friday. And I thought that it looks like some sort of freakish bionic dance movement. And I just thought, I wonder if I put them all over me and then film it. And then take that and create an animation movie from it. I'm very excited, guys. You know me. I will make art out of anything. Uh, and I just loved what it was doing to my body. It was absolutely incredible. So um, then I thought, right, time for the bum. Time for the bum to be electrocuted. And, it, I mean, it didn't feel as powerful around my glutes. But the glutes are huge muscles. But it certain, I certainly felt, I just put it, put it on and then sat down. Now, I'll tell you something ridiculous that I did. Um, I may have mentioned this yesterday in the podcast, I'm not sure. But I'd put everything on charge and I'd plugged it into the, to the you know, this, the pieces that you put on your body. And I thought, well, the lead is ridiculously short. It doesn't reach. I'm going to have to sit next to a plug all the time. And then I realised that the units are rechargeable. Duh. So you don't need to be plugged in. You, and you can actually just walk around the house. But I, do, I think, you know, you want to maintain contact with a sticky pad. You want that full electric shock going through. Um, I did do my stomach. That was really good. And I tell you what, afterwards, I swear I noticed a difference on my stomach. But the thing is, guys, I'm also weight training heavily. And I've got my protein right up to about 80 grams a day. So I'm, you know, I can't say it's just the EMS machine, but I will say it's not a waste of time because I truly believe that it's going to do lots and lots of different things. Now, finally, the final thing that I've started, which is all very new to me, um, I've got Down Dog, which is an app and they do loads and loads of workouts and yoga. So I've got it for my yoga, really. But yesterday I thought, right, I'm going to try a meditation thing because I've had real trouble sleeping. So I did a 10 minute meditation and I have never, ever been so relaxed in all my life. Now, I had to find a comfortable position and my comfortable position is lying on the bed with a couple of pillows 
and cross-legged. I just found that really comfortable for me. But you can do it, you know, sitting or, you know, lying on the floor or, or whatever you want to do. And, the uh, you know, you need to be comfortable. That's the thing. And and because I'd been doing all these EMS machines all day and I'd been working out, I was leg day yesterday, my knees were hurting. So uh, I really wanted to get into, you know, a really nice, comfortable position. So that's what I did. Um, and I slept better. I Not brilliantly. I wouldn't say it was a brilliant night's sleep. But I'm not sure if I can ever get those again. But I would say that doing a meditation, 10 minute meditation before bed every night is going to improve your life greatly. So, yeah, I mean, I feel a bit life changed this week. Um, I've probably I can probably see a bit of a difference in terms of my physique already but it's only five days in and really you're looking at three months to see you know marked improvement I mean I'm I'm lucky because I'm slender so you know anything is going to show quickly on me anyway um and I'd like to get a little bit leaner but it's important for me to build up that muscle you know before I lose any more sort of weight fat I don't think there's not much as it is and it, you you know you can really disappear when you're older if you if you don't have fat and you don't have muscle there's not much left you know it's a bit of a hollow person and that's what I felt where I felt I was becoming a hollow person and, and you need to be fit to be a musician you need to be fit and healthy you need strong arms you need to you know if you're going to perform live you need to be very extremely fit you know all of these things are very important to us um so i'll let you know how i get on over the weeks anyway especially with the ems machine on my pianist's fingers um if there's any detriment to my pianist fingers or my performance you know i'll stop straight away because you know i'm not committed to it it's not a course. There was I paid thirty quid for mine on Amazon, but you can get them on Temu, small ones on Temu. Um, I got the full set, so I got abs, two long shaped ones which can go on arms and thighs, um, a bum one, and the uh, there was a couple, something else. I can't remember what it was now. Um, so yeah, I, I sort of did the whole body thing. I wouldn't like to put them on all at once. I think I just think it's a bit much. I mean, it's quite intense clenching muscles, and you you know I would only recommend that you do sort of ten minutes and then then have a rest, guys, because it does ache a bit afterwards. You think, oh gosh, that's weird. They're isometric. You're not going to get um, bigger muscles, but you're going to get strengthened muscles that you already have. See what I mean? It's all it's isometric. So there's no weight um, resistance. OK, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to go and make my third coffee of the day and prepare for the mothership and going to Aldi to get the high protein yogurts. Au revoir, my friends. Au revoir. <laughs>